I got a question for you. <laughs> So putting on oils before you go to work is not a good idea, sis. Um, so what I tend to do is I put on my oil while I'm getting ready. And by then, by time, because I have eczema, I'm going to show y'all how I like, um, dance and I have eczema. I'm going to show y'all how I treat my tan. But, um, yeah, I have to put oil on. So... Luckily, at this club that I'm in now, I have an option to go up on stage and to not go up on stage. So, sometimes I don't go up on stage, but there's also like a backstage that you can go up on like when you want to or whatever. And you can get down whenever you want to. So, I, if I do go up on stage, it'll be that stage. And that's like right by both the VIP. So, it's more of an advantage. Um going up on that stage so i put oil on before i get dressed well as i'm getting ready so that i won't be just completely fucking dry
to be pulling up to my job now i just want to give y'all a little a little insight on how to go into work so in order to make money like i said in my last video in order to make money you have to go in with a positive attitude you can't go in there with your face all balled up you can't go in there looking like like, bitch, you better than everybody else. I'm like, we're all here for the same thing, which is to get a fucking bag. And you don't want to carry a bad energy around with you, being that there is other females in here, and they go through this same routine going into work. Like, they're not finna walk up in here with no stank-ass attitude because that's not, they know that that's not how they make money. So, why well, do I like so many people in here? So... You got to go in there with a good attitude. Um, attitude is key. Like, don't, like I said, go in there like you trying to make a new friend. Your new friend is your bag. <laughs> That's your new friend, your bag. Act like that man money that you finna go get. Act like that's your best friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, just don't go in there with no stink ass attitude. Um, yeah, like just don't go in there with no stink ass attitude because we're not gonna make no money. And that's what we're here for, to make some money. So I'm gonna get out of my car and walk it to my place of employment. When I tell you real life, no dancers, not just like, oh, there's one back there and she was waiting. No, no dancers. She's the first girl here? She was the first one here. This is it, the only it, one here? Nah, there's two more here now. You know what I'm saying? But they still back there getting dressed. Well, you know, I don't have to do nothing but get dressed. Oh, that's it. You better hurry up and get dressed. There's two more money right in the back. I see you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hurry on up. That was the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. Like, literally, I was up here for like three hours, and not one day, I ain't checked no bag, no nothing. I need to give you my number so you can call me yeah. when so there's like, people here. Like, literally, it was, it was people here. It's like eight people that left, but they were just like waiting around. And they're right here. No dances. Damn. Like, Damn. I'm dead ass. Like, it was customers in here. Like, two minutes, you know?
So I just did my first dance and I danced for two songs and I made twenty dollars. My tip out is twenty five. Luckily I found a twenty dollar bill in my fucking money bag, so I'm gonna take care of my um house seats now. So all the rest of the money, just in case I get tipsy or anything, before I leave, all the rest of my money can go to me. So this is the twenty five for my house fees and then ten for my DJ. And so basically I made five dollars on my first dance, but it's okay because all my house fees are paid. And I can have some money go to me. So I don't have to worry about a tip out or anything for the house or my DJ. Well, I basically didn't make no money because I'm gonna tip my doorman five dollars also. So yep. So I don't know if y'all can hear me, but I'm like sitting in the back. Because it's cold as fuck outside. It's like cold as hell on the floor. Like they got the fucking air on. And it seems like everywhere I go is blowing on me. And, and I don't even want to spend enough money for real. So tonight gonna be a slow night. So. I'm kind of ready to go home, but it's only like 6 o'clock, so I'm trying to tough it out these last two hours, so I won't have to pay $20 extra and, um, to leave early, so I'm trying to tough it out, but it's cold. The DJ just kind of pissed me off, like, no, because he was asking me for my blow stick, and I'm trying to hand him the goddamn pen, and he's like, your blow stick, and then the hookah girl that already has a badass fucking attitude was standing right there, like, don't talk to me, don't talk to me stupid, like, especially, like, don't, don't, don't do that, like, <laughs> I just almost had to go off on a fucking DJ, like, I kind of want to go find another club because I know that it's like this other place, like right next door to my house, um, they let dancers dance. So I think I'm going to just go there real fast since I am leaving early and I don't have the amount of money that I want to have and it's Friday. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go there. Like They're not like next door to my house, but they're like. No, like they're like a fucking like literally a block away. So I think what I'm gonna do is go there and see um what's the requirements. Like I know they don't have a stripper pole, so basically all I'll be doing is dancing. So I'm gonna go there now and um try to get in there. I mean, why not? Like it's like walking distance from my house, so. Like, why not? So, I'll see y'all in a minute. I got the best pussy that you had this far. Bitch, you know, going hard is me. I'm a ride or die, and I don't need the key. I'm gonna bounce that ass and drop that ass and pop it like a shootout. I pull them panties down, he's smiling like they bought the food out. I hit on their face and make my head feel like the new out. I shoot you, I'm a gangster now. That's it.
parking spot and I got out the car right and I realized I was ashy <laughs> but my face is cute so I'm gonna see if they are allowing any um I don't even think it's the right spot oh yep wrong spot if they're allowing um any new girls basically so yeah stay tuned so that bra was not open hi excuse me vegas yeah i'm okay i'm engaged yeah Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, they were actually closed and like being a dancer, like you gotta get used to people trying to talk to you. So you gotta have like a text now number. <laughs> Look at this country shit. It's a tag apply 10-24-20. So basically they apply for their tags on 24th, but oh no, yeah, like this downtown shit is not no fucking joke, okay? Like, anyways, but you gotta get used to people talking to you, so you gotta have a text now number, you know what I'm saying? Have a text now number so you can give it to them, because you don't want to give everybody your real fucking number. Anyways, moral of the story is, when you become a dancer, make sure you have a text now um, account, and that's the number that you're gonna be handing out. You don't want to hand out your real number to all these random motherfuckers, like, and you never know who really gonna spend some money with you, like... Motherfuckers are coming to club and ask you for your number. Like when you dancing on them, they ask you for your number, and you just simply give them your text now number. Like you don't, they don't have to know that that's not your real number. You don't have to be like, oh, this is a text now number or nothing. Like, excuse me, just like if they be like, what's your number? You gotta have your text now number in your head, just like you got your real number in your head. Like, uh, my number four oh four such 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 such. You know what I'm saying? Like. Don't be handing out your real number to all these random ass people. So text now is gonna become your best friend when you become a dancer and yeah. So I just got home. Um I actually stayed like a little later than I thought I was going to stay. Luckily I did because the only reason why I stayed was because I seen some people come in that look like they might have had some money. So I stayed until like nine o'clock. So like right now it's like 10 something. And I just got home and this is the money that I made today.
And before I had left, I stated that I had only made um, like a hundred dollars, eighty dollars, or whatever I had said. And luckily that I stayed, I made six hundred more dollars. I stayed two hours later than what I said I was going to stay. So this is one hundred. This is two hundred. Three. Four. Two, four, six, eight, five. Two, four, six, eight, six. So there's six hundred right there. This is fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. 1, 8, 2, 8, 3, 8, 4, 8, 5, 6, 8, 7, 8, 8, 8, 9. So this is $89. So I made $6.89 because I stayed at work longer. So more of the story is if you feel like you want to leave, don't.